Welcome to the Daily Word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter twenty-one, verses twenty-nine to thirty-three. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. This is the word of the Lord. A falling leaf is the herald of autumn. The Chinese idiom, "A falling leaf is the herald of autumn," signifies the changes in the surrounding environment, especially the growth stages of plant. So we could know the changing of season by looking at the plants. Jesus also used a similar parable to indicate that the growth of new leaves on a tree indicates. The arrival of summer. Summer is the season of harvest in Israel, and Jesus used this parable to remind his disciples to pay attention to the changes in the world, to be observant and discerned the ultimate consequence of matters on earth. Today's reading is very similar to Matthew chapter twenty-four, verses thirty-two to thirty-five, and Mark. Chapter thirteen, verses twenty-eight to thirty-one. Prior to this passage, all three gospels recorded Jesus' prophecy of four shocking, unbelievable, and difficult to understand scenarios that are about to occur: the destruction of the temple, the emergency of persecution in the world, the approach of disasters. The coming of the Son of Man. This disaster in the Scripture serves as sign for the disciple to recognize the kingdom of God is near. The kingdom of God that Jesus prophesied as near is the condition of the world that the Jewish people await. They believe that God sovereignly will manifest on earth, where He will eliminate every old, renew the world. Annihilate the all things on earth, with everything in heaven and earth restored according to God's will. However, Jesus reminded his disciples to pay attention to the occurrence of terrifying natural disasters and human catastrophes. They will scare and unsettle people as sign indicating the kingdom of God is near. Jesus pointed out that God will restore the world that was distorted by sin and rebuild the beauty of His creation. Therefore, after prophesying the impending disasters, He warned His disciples, "Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all the things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man." This verse teaches us that only those who are willing to live according to God's will can be protected from suffering and find peace in God. According to Zhong Yong, the doctrine of the Min, a Confucian classic, when a nation of clans is about to rise up, they are always omens of their fortune. When a nation of clans is about to fall. They are always omens of their misfortune. This serves as a warning to people that the prosperity or decline of a nation can be foreseen and anticipated. We should acknowledge that everyone is a member of society, and the rise and fall of our nation is closely related to us. Therefore. We are responsible for the future of our nation and society. 
as we are participants rather than bystanders. We should pay attention to the conflicts and war happening around the world, as well as the natural disasters and human calamities. Do you think these sins bear a striking resemblance to the imminent disasters that Jesus prophesied long ago? May the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ remind us once again to be always alert, to distance ourselves from sin, follow the whole example of the Lord, love God and one another. May we live with courage and faith according to God's will and His teachings and find peace in Him. Let us have a time of reflection. Have you been paying attention to leave out the mercy and compassion of the Lord Jesus in your personal life and within your church? If not, how would you bring changes to such situation? Recent news have reported wars in various countries and regions, resulting in numerous innocent civilian casualties, especially children. Do you still have faith in praying to the Lord for His mercy and believe that the wars will eventually cease and peace will prevail? Let us pray. May God grant us a clean spirit, bright eyes, steadfast aspirations, a compassionate heart, and courageous spirit, so we recognize God's righteousness in all things and faithfully follow His will by rejecting fear, despair, hatred, and all forms of evil. May we uphold the righteousness and mercy of the Lord in our words and deeds. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.